Thank you so much, Calypso. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. How is everyone doing? <laughs> Quite busy here already. <laughs> oh, wait. Just one second. <laughs> Forgot the second light. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> but thank you everyone for being here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> do what you have to do. <laughs> Thank you, Link! Thank you for joining the madness! <laughs> Are you having breakfast already? <laughs> but Calypso, well... <laughs> I'm glad you like it already, although I didn't do much yet. <laughs> oh my, here's that monster. <laughs> the huge box. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna switch to different music already. Just a second, and because it's fun, <laughs> we're gonna start up with Aura in the Blind Forest. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Box is in the frame, <laughs> but my cable is still not hidden. Yeah. Also, I think my own music is a bit too loud. So, I took myself the freedom to prime this box off stream. <laughs> Maybe I should lift that a bit. Last stream, I added some cardboard details. Wait, you can see it on the face cam. You can see them pretty well. <laughs> And I primed the whole thing with silver acrylics off stream and with some water resistant wood glue, waterproof wood glue. Um, that should seal the whole thing pretty much. But what I have to do before I start painting at edges and all sorts of things. Wood glue creates really sharp bits, so... I have these steel sticks that I use, normally used for um, setting gems. I have several here. Wait, where's the small one? There it is, like so. And that's the big one, a flat one. And I'm gonna use these to just flatten the sharp edges and stuff because I can just simply go over it um, yeah and then I'm also gonna like carve <laughs> the little details here I already marked them beforehand but to make them a little more well stand out and pop out in the end I'll do that again because in the wood glue, um, it actually stays. I can't, like, well, carve it as deep just on the cardboard. Hold on, I need to mark this with the scissors. I could also just use tips of scissors to do that. Um, I don't feel really comfortable with that because it's pretty sharp and I can scratch the wood glue with it. Which may not be a good thing. But now I'm just gonna smooth this box to the best I can. Also, before we get into this, um, I had two offline followers. I mean, I know these people. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I did some changes in Streamlabs before the stream, so. 
I hope it doesn't crash. Uh, um, no, somehow it's stuck on the page down there. Where's my dashboard? There it is. Hopefully. Because, <laughs> if you don't know yet, um, normally when I have, like, offline things happening, I'll repeat the alerts on stream, just as I start up. If my dashboard loads. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so, the first one, cheesy macaroni. <laughs> I know I thank you already, but thank you again, and Tony, <laughs> who's also known as Big Green Bomb. <laughs> thank you so much for joining the madness. I hope that worked. Yeah, it did. <laughs> thank you. Now we can actually get to the grand epic work of boredom here <laughs> also if you're interested I can show you the inside of the box again and I have the swords lying here so if you have any questions feel free to ask As I do this here, I also have to be careful because I could accidentally um, <laughs> just press the tip into the cardboard where I don't want it. So, as long as I do this with the round side, it's okay. <laughs> but I have to be careful still. I'm just gonna do this until I feel like no sharp bits anymore. As much as I can though. You could also just sand it a bit, but depending on how thick you apply the wood glue, it might not be a good thing to do. And you don't need to, because the steel pretty much flattens everything you need to have flattened. And it, it's almost like sanding, but just not sanding. You know, it doesn't remove much of the surface, it just flattens it. And to me, that's smooth enough. So I don't need to do it on like every edge of the details. But what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna lift the camera up here um, and just a bit. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that was too much lifting. Mm. And that's not really in the way. If it's disturb if, if it's disturbing your view, sorry. Um, but I can't move it any further here today. I don't know why. I think I misplaced the laptop. <laughs> or I have the main camera up there in a different angle, I don't know. But it shouldn't be too disturbing because actually it doesn't block much of the view as you can see it's really just where I'm not working on but I want you to see like here <laughs> what I'm doing so well as much as I can make you see it I tend to accidentally work off camera <laughs> Okay. 
This light feels really good already. I mean, a plus thing to sanding could be um, that the acrylics will stay on the, wood, on the wood glue better. But as I said, I don't want to do it. So I fear I might just well, grind too much off the surface. And you might not see it here, that's why I'm going to show it into the face camera. Um, you see, um, this structure here, it's actually the cardboard. Um, the wood glue really, um, well, it fills like everything, or almost everything you want it to fill. That's why it's so good for sealing. And I use waterproof wood glue so I can basically mess around with the acrylics at every viscosity I want to have them. I don't need to fear using much water. Also, you'd think I'm just pressing these rough parts down um, because the wood glue is quite stable, although it's flexible, that, that these would just lift again. That's not the case. <laughs> I mean, it's some kind of magic, I don't know. If some, but if something does raise again and it's too big, I could still like sand it or cut it away carefully, because that means I've used too much glue there anyway. But it's just for really sharp edges or here, like here in between, because I had to put the glue onto the lining. I glued the lining a bit outside, and velvet fibers you know the fluffy and all and the glue makes them really like spikes <laughs> so oh uh oh 